Welcome back, everybody. It's championship week in the NFL. We're going to take some time to break down both of these incredible matchups. Obviously, we got to start with the NFC. The Eagles have a chance to get back to their second Super Bowl in six years, but the Niners are in their third NFC championship in four years, and they're definitely a tough opponent and a team to be worried about. These teams very evenly matched. The Eagles and Niners have arguably the two top defenses in the entire league, and all, both the offenses are very explosive. Eagles led the league in pass defense, and they will get Avante Maddox back this weekend. He's been injured for the past couple weeks with a toe injury, while the Niners were first in rush yards per attempt and points per game allowed. Yeah, and Brock Purdy gets a start for the Niners. He's been incredible. 7-0, 16 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Jalen Hurts on the other side has been an MVP candidate, 15-1 this year. But the Niners, they have an elite uh, pass rush defense. But they, they also have not faced a quarterback like Hurts so far this season who can beat you with his arm and his legs in the elite fashion that he can. Uh, one thing that I think will be interesting to watch uh, will be the Eagles' defense against that pre-snap motion because the Niners have relied heavily on it mm -hmm. while Brock Purdy has been quarterback. Uh, and he's excelled utilizing it as well. But the Eagles have the lowest quarterback rating against on plays using pre-snap motion. Mm -hmm. Very interesting stuff. Devin, first off, what's your opinion on the game? My opinion is obviously this game can go either way. And I think that since it's so nip and tuck, I think just any slight advantage can make the difference. And obviously it being in Philadelphia, big advantage for the Eagles. But I think the matchup will be won in the trenches because the Eagles are nearing and setting records with sacks. I mean, they have 75 of them as a whole, and they're the only team in NFL history with four different players with 10-plus sacks on the year. And so a rookie QB on the road at the link under that type of pressure, I think the Birds just have an advantage. Right. I, I think they do. And plus, if A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith can do damage on the outside because the one little weakness, one little crack in the uh, 49ers otherwise, uh, otherwise flawed defense is their cornerbacks in terms of giving up a lot of long balls on uh, all year. And, I mean, that's what A.J. Brown's specialty is. Right. So I think if they can do that damage and Jalen Hurts can, you know, obviously affect the game with his legs but also make the right passes in the pocket I, and being at home i think they have a little bit too much in their favor and i think again that that inexperience for brock purdy is going to cost him he's got he's got he's got to hit the wall sometime and i think now's the time to do it yeah hopefully it's this weekend i'm going to go with the eagles here i just remember what happened back in 2017 <laughs> minnesota vikings coming into philly uh, minnesota had case keenum at quarterback yep. but brock purdy he is not case keenum he yep. is much better at quarterback keenum was terrible under pressure purdy stands tall against the rush. Uh, he's also got uh, Debo Samuel, George Kittle, uh, Christian McCaffrey as well in that offense. Very yep. dynamic to help him out. Niners defense may be the best unit in the league, but if there's one offense that can handle that unit, it's yep. the Eagles. But the key will be Lane Johnson, who hasn't given up a sack all year de dealing with that abdominal injury. We'll see if that's going to compromise him or not, and we'll see if he can keep Jalen Hurts upright. All right, now we've got another great game in the AFC coming up as well. The one seed Kansas City Chiefs and the three seeded Cincinnati Bengals oh, will meet at game. Arrow, Arrowhead Stadium come Sunday night. Yep. Uh, we know that Patrick Mahomes will start this game, but the question now is how much will he be hampered by that ankle injury? Well, Mahomes did practice all three days this week, and Andy Reid says that he was moving around pretty well. Yeah, and again, but now we found out a few hours ago that Travis, Kel uh, Travis Kelsey is questionable with a back injury. Now, the Chiefs have won 11 of their tw last 12. The lone loss was against the Bengals in Week 13. Mm -hmm. Now, the only team hotter uh, in football hotter than Kansas City and even as hot as the 49ers are the Bengals, who have won 10 in a row. And Joe Burrow has proven that he may be on the same level as Mahomes. I would definitely take Mahomes over him, but Joe Burrow is right there. He's maybe, you know, the undisputed number two quarterback in the league right now. Uh, with Mahomes hobbling a little bit, I might take Joe Burrow there. All right, I, I want to say that the Chiefs uh, will take this. I want to say they're going to take this, but yeah. that ankle injury is very concerning to me. We've seen athletes dealing with that injury. Coming out just not the same. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to say the Bengals here. My my head agrees with you. The Chiefs are looking for res uh, revenge. My heart says that the Chiefs will you know be able to overcome this though because I just think again for a team to beat them four times in a row as great as the Chiefs are, 
I just I, I don't I don't see that happening, especially in Arrowhead again. I think they just have too much revenge on their on their minds that they just they they, they, I, they I don't think they're just going to be able to lose this game. And again, my head says, agrees with you in in the sense with the injuries that the Chiefs are dealing with right now. And obviously, the Bengals do have their number, you know, winning them th- ending their season last year, and they have the chance to do it again this year. And they beat them overall during the regular season, but I think the Chiefs are going to find a way to win this game at home. Uh, either way. We honestly can't lose with this Super Bowl coming up. All four of these teams are very deserving. There's yep. no weak links that you can find. Not at all. Uh, the Eagles have been the top team pretty much all season. We all know about the Chiefs and how great they've been. Yep. Uh, the Niners have the best defense, and Birdie has been phenomenal with all those weapons. And I'd argue the Bengals should have won the Super Bowl last yeah, year. Yeah, they gave that up. They definitely gave that up. They had plenty of chances. So we got a lot of different teams. If we played this exact scenario ten times, it would be 10 different outcomes. Yeah, That's how close so everything too. is right now. All right, stay with us. The UMES Hawks returning home tomorrow. Your weekend ahead is coming up next. Hey, I'm Takai Hughie with Delmar Football, and you're watching Delmar Sports Insider.